you've done it all. Rush hour, deadlines, travel sports. Now is your time. Your time to relax, have some fun, and live exactly the way you want to live. I'm Brandon Doyle, and today we're in Chaska, Minnesota, at the new Adelwood by Dell Webb Community, a community built around hobbies, social activities, and healthy living. No snow removal or mowing the lawn. It's all done for you. We will tour three home models that make living easier than you could ever imagine. Before that, we'll find out what this community is all about and get a tour from the listing agent, Derek Stutz. Really, the, the biggest attraction to this community is just the lifestyle that Dell Web communities offer. Um, it's really just the, the social aspect. Um, you know, a lot look to just kind of downsize and get to a, a home with a lot less maintenance. And of course, with less maintenance, it's just going to free up more time to really do what you want and kind of enjoy that stage in life. You know, I mean, here in this community, beautiful community center with um, all sorts of different activities. We've got a full-time activity director, so they're going to set out, you know, full calendar, you know, anything from like men's coffee hour in the morning. There's happy hours on Fridays. They have music lessons, dance lessons. I mean, I could really kind of go on. So I've been told by some of the residents, you could be as busy as you want to be uh, in a community. But, you know, again, the benefit is that, you know, it's not like living in an, uh, a retirement center. Uh, you have your own single family home, so you can still have your own privacy, um, again, just without some of that maintenance. But you can really see the pride of ownership with the homeowners. Like they've all each kind of decorated their space. They've got stuff going on in their porch. It seems like it's a very social community. Most of the neighbors here, they all know each other again from just all of those social hours. And, you know, it just from what I've experienced is that, you know, some of these folks that, you know, if they've been in their home a long time, like let's say maybe their neighborhood's starting to turn over and, uh, you know, there's a lot younger families moving in, they might feel more isolated that they don't have, you know, the, the same age, you know, people living next to them or, you know, their friends live further away where, you know, here they hop in a golf cart and two second cruise and they're over at their other friend's house. Can we um, drive the golf carts on the sidewalk? Or is that strictly <laughs> a road thing? Need to be done in the street. Okay. <laughs> So this is our passport floor plan in our garden series collection. Two bedrooms and then there's two bathrooms. Okay. So that seems to be like that right combination just for most. They yeah. generally live on their own, but then they have guests or, you know, kids come yeah, over. They want them going through their bedroom to get to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. So The sunroom, I would say, is probably one of the most popular uh, additions to this structure. It just adds a lot of nice natural light to the back of the home and, of course, adds that finished square footage. Um, Gives you that extra space to kind of hang out. So, yeah. Awesome. We got soft clothes here. The soft clothes, of yeah. Course. So, uh, soft clothes drawers. Yeah, you know, the stainless clothes. steel appliances. You got to have you that. Got, you got it. Yep. So, we have, I would say, actually, it's uh, surprising about half and half. Some like the electric, some like gas, where um, we come from some different communities where gas is kind of prevalent. But I would say the electric is, is popular here. And so, through this way, so you have your mechanicals. Okay. Nicely tucked in. In that room, yeah. I would say the, the tankless water heaters are a really popular upgrade that we offer. They just continually cycle the water through and give you hot water. So we got your primary bedroom here you know, with the closet. You've got your dirty laundry. You don't have to go far. Uh, got a washer dryer right here on the level. You're not going upstairs or downstairs, so that's a really nice feature. It's one of the main reasons I think a lot just gravitate towards these slab by grade homes is because, yeah, you're right. You're not climbing stairs with laundry baskets and all that stuff. I think always the challenge is now you just have to get it from here back into your room. <laughs> Are these the standard windows then? Yeah, these are standard windows, and then you can kind of see we did that aftermarket kind of wall treatment as well, like what you'd seen out in the, the gathering room, but standard windows. But not an option. In placement. <laughs> Correct. Not an option with us, yeah. Good to know. Yeah. No. <laughs> How many people ask for it? They see it, they're like, no, I want that. I would say majority ask about it. Yeah. So it's one of the myself would be included. I think it's cool. So we have, um, of course, different vanity heights that we can offer most go with our comfort height you know quartz countertops um, these are like our included like plumbing fixtures for example light fixtures and then our shower this is actually our, our standard shower um, in our model uh, we do offer you know full tile enclosure tile floor heavy glass door uh, as an option but we also like to display what you get included because we get that question all the time it's like great that looks all fancy but you know what's actually included so. 
this will be our oh. guest area. Yeah. So they kind of have their own little private wing. Yeah, it was there. basically. That's why it's almost more Tucked like... Tucked away. Three-quarter bath, which is, you know, if you're a guest, you're not taking a bath at someone's house, so it makes sense to just have a... <laughs> Depends how comfortable you are, I... <laughs> Depends how comfortable you are, I suppose. Behind you, we have our, our flex room. It can also be converted if we have to say if we add a door here. Uh, it can certainly be bedroom number three. It seems, uh, it seems to make sense if you're adding the sunroom because then you can use this for something else. Now the Schlag lock, though, that's my, my go-to recommendation. Mm -hmm. So good to see that you, you went with that. Nice for like if you're at a housekeeper come by or family and you're out of town, they can just use a code. You can program codes for each person. You can check on it remotely. That was kind of the whole idea behind some of the smart home features that we include as a standard is just because we realize, you know, most of the residents are gone half of the year. So they want to be able to check in on their, on their yeah. home. So. This is our Castle Rock floor plan in our Classic Series. And okay. so uh, the Classic Series, essentially, you're going to just start to get a little bit larger of a home. Uh, and then some of them will also have basement capability. It's a very attractive plan. Uh, we love this island. Yeah, big, large island for, you know, of course, all of the entertaining needs. But you can notice you have a lot of countertop surface just for prep work. Um, and then as far as you know, cabinetry goes, I mean, we have storage everywhere, even on the ends of the island. Um, and then having this beverage center yeah, behind you. And then there's different options for what you can do right here, correct? Yeah, you got this it. can become... So we can do a sunroom there. Okay. Um, so essentially we would just add more finished square footage out to the back of the home. Um, if the home was on like a lookout or a walkout home site, I see like really nice deck options. So when you build homes with us, you would actually meet with our deck contractor, Precision Decks, and they basically custom design you a deck. I've seen some that kind of come out and wrap around the back of the home too that look really nice. So some of our homes, uh, just the way that they're designed, it they does have the capability to take a loft. So if you want to go upstairs, we can yeah, let's go check, check it, it out. out. Yeah. Just a great space for, you know, again, if your uh, kids are coming over with their grandkids, yeah. uh, anything like that, this is just kind of almost their space or their area. Um, there a bathroom, bedroom back here as well. You got it. Yeah, so actually a really nice size bedroom back here and then also a three-quarter bath, so with your shower. And all the mechanicals are upstairs too on this home. Oh, wow. Yeah, just take because a look at that. It, being, it being a slab on grade, yeah, so this is... So then the heat is being pushed down. Yep, that's correct. So this actually shows your traditional, like, tank-style water heater. Nice. It's a very efficient setup in here. I like that uh, when you come into the primary bedroom, it's actually at an angle. Uh, sometimes you'll see the door is, like, right here, and then if the door is left open and you have guests over, they can just see right into your space. So this is smart that they've it's a nice observation. done that. And then, again, yeah. very easy walk right into the laundry. And this one, the windows are going to be on the side versus behind the bed. So depending on your preference. Yeah, you got it. And so the other home that we were in, we had the windows kind of behind the headboard because we have the sunroom addition on the back of the home. Um, if that home were laid out different with no sunroom, then you would have the windows across the back just like this. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. So decisions that you're making along the way kind of impact what else you can do in the home. So if you upgrade one spot, maybe that carries through to the other. Like you had mentioned with the kitchen, you're doing the cabinet upgrade and then mm -hmm. there you go. You also get the bathroom upgrades. So. That's, yeah, that's exactly right. And it's kind of all part of just that whole prefrontal planning process of just understanding what decisions affect which. And with this bathroom, it really yeah. looks like we had accessibility in mind. I'm noticing that it's very flat, the countertops are raised, and yep. it's a zero entry into the shower here. Yeah, so this uh, is so very good for mobility. Absolutely, and so this is actually going to be one of our uh, walk-in shower upgrades that you could get with the home. So it's, you could, this home is actually large enough where we could have a separate bathtub and a separate shower. Mm -hmm. um, although most are starting to kind of opt for these nice big walk-in showers like this. So there's some corner shelving, there's a bench, grab rail, just kind of everything you need. 
good size walk-in closet as well. So in this one, it's going to be in the bathroom versus the other one is a separate space. The separate is kind of almost uh, yeah. has the space inside the bedroom. But yeah, it's a good size room actually for a, a guest space or another office, depending on what you want to do. Yeah. And yeah, even coming in uh, from the garage, you're not going up a set of stairs. There's like a tiny lip here and that's it. So it's sometimes even with a Rambler, you'll see like, oh, you gotta go up four steps. And so for an older person that might have uh, some mobility issues, that can be a real challenge. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And we do offer or are able to build the home where there's no essential step or threshold coming in. So yeah, this is just a two car garage, but it seems to be plenty deep and you know, a little bit of extra space on the sides for opening the doors and everything. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. This is going to be one of our larger plans that we can build in the community. Uh, it's just under 2,000 square feet on the main level, and then we actually have a finished basement on this plan as well. So you're going to have your guest bedroom uh, on the front of the home, okay. and then you know, again you'll have your like the bathroom shower tub combo. Uh, again, with the ability to just add a shower there in case, like you said, you're not having the need to take baths out front. We have a so huge space Yeah, here. big, wide open gathering yeah. space. Um, really big kitchen island. People love this, just the fact that it has like this almost cafe style table that you can sit around, uh, obviously have a meal, but you know, cards, games, all that kind of stuff. I've heard of that uh, a lot, really like this feature. And then of course you still have this extra dining room space for a little bit more formal dining. Uh, and then behind me, we have one of the decks that we can build onto the home uh, or else another option again is taking and doing a sunroom. So we basically take these windows and just kind of push everything back and almost more box off the back part of the home, but just kind of create another nice space to kind of sit, have coffee, read, read the newspaper. This is just perfect for entertaining. And you've got yeah. food there, you got people sitting, uh, hanging out, they're more formal space uh, than maybe some people are going to hang out there, and then this is going to be maybe the younger people, and then you've got kids in the basement. And I was going to sit around, and like, this is... Wait until I show you the basement, Sammy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, there's quite a lot of room downstairs, so... Imagine the noise in this space, and you can get, like, three generations going. <laughs> <laughs> this home, we have, like, the different two-tone cabinets, so you can see, like, the base cabinets are going to be kind of like a different, uh, like, more of a darker brown color, and then we can also split and do, you know, the upper cabinets white, just to kind of provide a little bit more color contrast. Uh, Tell me about the convection oven for those that aren't familiar. Ah, uh, sure. So th this is our, our built-in kitchen layout. It's something that we offer. Um, again, drop-in gas cooktop, exhaust hood, and then you have a built-in. So it's actually a one-piece unit. It's a built-in microwave. And then it's also, then you have your convection oven below. And so convection, again, you're going to have the fan in the back. It's going to actually spread heat evenly throughout the oven. It's usually a little bit quicker for baking in my experience. Uh, and then obviously all the controls are just all touch screen uh, on digital. So. so again, like this is nice, there's good privacy. So if the door was open, you're not just looking in from the family room and in, in the kitchen. You can kind of have a, a little bit more privacy. And I absolutely love what they did with the ceiling detail here. It's become Honestly, this is a, an upgrade, but I, I saw this. There's no way I wouldn't buy it. You know, like, like well, I gotta have that. I that's, so. great that's great feedback, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's why they do that. I, I was gonna right? say, just to give you that inspiration or yeah. just be like, hey, I really like that. That's how what I'd want in my home. And um, yeah, the, the wood detailing in the ceiling, that's kind of becoming the same thing. It's just kind of on trend over the last couple of years. So again, we've got the closet back here tucked behind the bathroom. But in this one, we've done the soaking tub for those that are still into that. And, you got it. and then the walk-in shower. Yeah. So this is a great example of just one of our fully tiled showers with a heavy glass door. Um, so instead of having that fiberglass insert like we, we had seen in that first model, um, this is kind of the, the upgrade, if you will.
What are the top three upgrades that people are requesting? So really the biggest upgrades that I'm gonna see is what you're seeing here in the kitchen. It's always what I would advise to, I mean, you're looking at investing the most amount of money in like your kitchen and then really in the primary suite, primary bathroom. So, so the places you spend the most amount of time. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> go and with figure. the kitchen, it's something when you're entertaining, yeah. people see that too. Absolutely, so I would say, yeah, your, your general upgrades, built-in kitchen like this with a nice built-in oven, a lot really like this exposed exhaust hood. Uh, and we'll start to see a lot. We'll upgrade, you know, their countertops, I would say, adding a really nice backsplash detailing. That's just gonna kind of give that wow factor into the home. Um, and then back into like the bathroom, for example, like the big tile walk-in showers, certainly a popular upgrade just because it's got that nice feel and surprisingly a lot aren't really taking baths that much, you know, anymore these days. So, um, and then besides that, depending on the space needs, I would say finished basements are more prevalent. I mean, most just wanna have everything kind of done when they move in. Um, I'd say that's probably another one of our larger or more taken upgrades, if you will. Allowood is in the West Metro, 25 miles from Minneapolis, and just minutes from Hazeltine National Golf Course, Canterbury Park, and walking distance from restaurants and shopping in downtown Chaska. In my opinion, it's the reward to a life well lived. If you'd like to see any of these models yourself or get a tour of the community, just reach out to me and we can arrange a tour. All my information is in the description. Thanks for watching.